Now, I did promise to shout a few people out. Uh, first off, reactionary commentary, candlelit commentary. Uh, he liked my uh, status, so I'm going to shout him out. Uh, his name is Joshua Darby or Rourke. Uh, then there's Bian Fajardo. You may know him as K Melfina. He comments on a few Grog videos and I think a few Fringe Elements videos. Then you got Rosie Rodriguez, although I'm pretty sure her name is actually Rose, but I don't want to instigate. Then you got Millie Urena. A lot of these guys I don't really talk to that much. Some of them, uh, well, the latter two of the two. It's a lot of people from middle school. Regardless, uh, I'm going to shout them out since this isn't a very serious video. For starters, while I was watching Monday Night Raw yesterday on Twitter, when I was ready to make a few hashtag statuses about what was happening, shutdown was trending or government shutdown was trending and people even on Facebook that thought that the purge was gonna happen now if you guys don't know the purge is a very derivative fantasy movie where um, on a yearly basis there's one day where all government programs get shut down meaning all crimes are legal and the prisons are going to be released. So it's mostly a film about guys hiding out and avoiding criminals with weird masks trying to do God knows what to them. It's a film about, uh, that covers a lot of themes, but the premise is so ridiculous and the execution is so ridiculous that human nature gets thrown out the window. I think a lot of guys operate on this fear of some of uh, people that contradicts human nature and that's what's happening now what most niggas are scared of honestly they're scared of food stamps being cut out so I'm going to tell you straight off the way all those nice little government programs are still going to be there you're going to have your food stamps you're going to have all that provided to you SSI, things like this. That's all available. What's not going to be available are the gated parks that tourists like to go to. There's things like Yellowstone Park, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, and that's why now, uh, FDA is going to shut down a lot of the uh, food inspections, but the Department of Agriculture is handling the meat, which is important since we don't want salmonella, we don't want E. coli, we don't want literal shit in our meats. And that's good in a way since I might incentivize non-religious people to, that is people that aren't Hindus and religiously vegan, to eat more meat. Go a little more paleo. Go a little more Atkins, technically, since you're going to go back to stuffing yourselves with sugar uh, when these few days or two weeks are done with. Me, personally, I think this program isn't really going to do shit since we still have Keynesians in Wall, Wall Street and the banks, and they're saying that this isn't going to benefit the economy in the long run. It, it, it's only going to slow them down since tourists aren't going to traveling and spending their money on these nice places and these nice uh, parks and things like that that slows revenue down and a lot of us because some important programs or luxury programs that are a lot more contemporary are getting shut down a lot of us might be afraid to go outside and spend too much money and that will slow industry down but at the same time Keynesians, that's that Keynesian logic right there. L let them keep a few of their dollars in their pockets. And I'm not a fucking libertarian anymore. 
So I'm not gonna hate him for utter stupid shit, but uh, seriously, come on. That's gonna be your argument. You, you are right in a way, but shit. Thank God, let these people be a little more savvy. Frugal. Much in the same way Kenzians in real life, the elitist Kenzians, are frugal. They just don't want frugality for everyone else. If frugality is even a fucking word. But no, I don't really care about the government shutdown thing, since even if they were going to shut down the government indefinitely until the dead or whatever is somewhat manageable, uh, which it, I doubt it will ever be manageable. I think the United States is going to be bankrupt just like Detroit is. We, we all know Chi Town is next. Regardless, I don't care. This economy, this market, it, it's. We're, we're serving it. It's not serving the nation. And. I'm not a fascist. I'm not a Nazi. I've been reading a lot more Mein Kampf these days, but and Nazism is starting to seem a little more different than fascism than uh, people treat it. States are treated more as means to an end for the race rather than states being what creates culture which is a very fascist idea this government creates economics and everything else um, not, not government states the state and I, I do have some sympathies towards these ideas but honestly uh, we're too focused on money flow right now that's the only time we'll ever get on Obama's case nowadays because he's hurting some people financially that sometimes are way too dependent on the government in other ways it's just economics and some of these people still think that Obama is going to save us some people think that Obama is still this monolith of hope that if we can get him elected in 2008 then we can get out of this situation in 2013 no fuck we're we're definitely screwed but I'm more concerned about our diminished culture than our diminished economics because economics can be managed it's not that fucking hard, really. Culture, however, shitty cultures, that's a bigger problem. No, no, this light is too intense. That's a bigger problem altogether, and we're not going to get culturally better from stupid shit like this. So, all I'm trying to say is. You, you're you're gonna you're not gonna die. No one's gonna come into your house and rape you, kill you, uh, force you to watch a marathon of let's see the Wiggles. No, that's not gonna happen. You're you're gonna be fine for these few days. If you're if you're gonna end up uh, with problems today, uh, then tough luck. It's it's just uh, life sucks for you, man. I shouldn't care. I don't care. And neither should you. Don't be paranoid. Don't buy the hype, because that's how you're gonna. That's how you're going to screw yourself, by going with the crowd. Because the crowd doesn't know what the fuck it wants. It doesn't know what to think. It, it, it's a complete deer in headlights 
scenario until a vanguard shows up or until the elite mislead them. But other than that, they're useless. And you'd be useless too if you're worried about a fucking government shutdown and the purge happening in a World War Three happening because of all of this. Calm down, guys. You're still gonna get your food stamps. This is Mr. Wonka 7, and... I want the lights to be on when I say this. Suck my dick.